What the f- So here's the situation. I tested positive for COVID-19. I just got my test results this morning. Um, apparently they were finalized last night, but I didn't get notified until this morning that I have tested positive for COVID-19. Honestly, all the thoughts going through my head right now are just really freaking weird. I don't really know what to make of any of this right now. So if you've been following along for a while, uh, my previous video I kind of talked about I'm quarantined for at least two weeks. And that's because my roommate had come down with symptoms of COVID-19, you know, just like parallels that were like lining up perfectly with the timeline of how a typical COVID patient is. So naturally that's whenever we decide to take action and that's whenever, you know, we decide, okay, we should probably both get tested and we should probably start self quarantining and like he can stay in his room, all that stuff. You can catch up in the previous video. Or if you followed on Instagram, I'm sure you've been following the stories very closely because I've been giving kind of day-to-day -day updates and kind of how we've been handling this whole thing, how I've been managing, trying to take care of him in this time, all that kind of stuff. It's Tuesday the 1st of September. So now we are here and it is almost a week after his symptoms started showing because he started showing last Wednesday. So now we're here and I have tested positive, but he tested negative. So how could this have possibly happened? There are a few things that I've kind of been talking with a few people about and also just kind of assumptions. Again, I'm not a medical professional. I'm just a guy that's happening to go through this kind of thing. Um, and I'm just simply sharing our experience. So there are a couple scenarios. One, he has a false negative. Two, I have a false positive or three. So here's kind of my thought process. This thing is just really wanting to get to know me and I don't like that, right? Move that plan over. Here's the timeline of kind of what I'm thinking. So I'm actually kind of behind this idea of I might have picked it up first and I was asymptomatic this whole time. I'm the one that actually brought it into this apartment and from there, that's actually how he got sick with it. But then whenever he started showing symptoms, that's what kind of sounded our alarm of what the heck is going on here and like you know just made us get tested and made us take extra precautions but it didn't it took that for us to get tested and find out the actual results and find out that i've just been asymptomatic this whole time and he got tested too early into the illness because he got tested about day two so that's kind of where we were last time i made the video and now we're here it's day seven uh technically so now don't know really what to do from here. It's weird to see how this virus has affected different people. If this is, I'm under the assumption that I'm a positive and that he was also a positive and he got a false negative. That's kind of what I'm thinking right now. Or he was just too early in the illness to get it detected. So here's kind of my thought process is like, what the heck is going on here? This is so weird seeing how this virus affects people. I mean, I remember when this thing I remember just covering it, like walking the streets and seeing like nobody out whenever this pandemic first started and now we're here and I actually myself have the virus itself. I have the virus. I am technically sick with it. But it's weird because I'm asymptomatic. That's the strangest part about this is I don't feel really any different. The only thing that might be a little bit alarming was last night. I had a little bit of a headache around six o'clock and it was kind of on and off and I tried to like nap throughout the evening and I napped from about 6.30 to about 11.30. So it was kind of on and off uh, that I had the headache and I woke up once around like eight something, still had the headache, then went to sleep again, woke up at like 11, felt fine. Um, and honestly, the past couple days, the only thing I've really felt is um, like, it feels like allergies. It's not quite like it, a weird feeling in the throat or the nose, but it's like in between, if that makes sense. I don't know if that made any sense. So I guess maybe you could say, maybe I'm not asymptomatic. Maybe I just have an extremely mild case of it. But the fact of the matter is I'm, I'm here. I got a positive test result. There was apparently enough for the, the test to say that I had enough virus in me to warrant a positive result. So really from here, this is gonna be strange. What does this mean for you? So. Really what's gonna be happening is this setup, you're gonna be seeing quite a bit of it for the next couple of videos. Um, just because I can't go anywhere. I The only thing I can do is Instacart and DoorDash, Grubhub, whatever. That's all I can do. So I'm just stuck in here. I'm, I'm stuck in here. This is gonna be the setup you're gonna see for a while. We're gonna be doing some fun stuff. I do have some, some projects kind of in the works 
Um, I am probably going to fire up the podcast again just because this is an interesting experience. I've gotten a lot of questions and comments on Instagram because that's where I've been a lot more active with this kind of content lately, just kind of talking about being a COVID person. Just been drinking a metric crap ton of water just because I'm trying to stay hydrated and I'm trying to like make sure that my body is equipped to fight this thing. Um, because I've been drinking a lot of fruit smoothies the past couple days, uh, drinking a lot of water, I've been trying to eat somewhat clean, so I'm doing what everything in my power that at least that I know could possibly help my body be best equipped to handle this because, I mean, this is a lot. I don't know, I wanted to share the experience because I feel like this is something that we've seen a lot of and heard a lot of about, is just like how it can affect people differently. I mean, my roommate literally, I mean, if you go back through the, the previous video, I mean, he had quite a bit of symptoms and they were pretty intense and they lasted through about Sunday. And then Sunday he started to like get noticeably better. He still had like general fatigue and a little bit of pain. But other than that, like today is Tuesday and he's for the most part fine, he just has a cough. And aside from the symptoms that I described earlier, that's all I have. I just wanted to take this moment just to say like, be careful, be responsible, wash your hands, sanitize, do what you can to not get sick because this is, I mean, it's very real. It's real, it's, it's real. I've seen it with my own two eyes. Uh, another person that is literally within a 10 foot proximity through a wall has experienced it himself. But I'll save that for a more polished video. I kind of just wanted to hop in front of the camera and give you guys an update because, I mean, I just want to be transparent. I mean, you deserve to know the truth because you're a viewer, you're a subscriber, you're a supporter. And if you're not, consider doing so because I greatly appreciate that. I notice all the support, comments, likes, everything. I'm just very thankful to have the support of this community. I mean, you guys are great. You guys are awesome. You gotta give yourself some credit too. I mean, because you guys are the ones supporting what I do. Um, and that alone just, I, I'm so thankful for. So from here, I guess that's pretty much all I have. I, from here, I'm just gonna focus on just relaxing, letting my body take care of this uh, because I don't know what it's doing. Uh, apparently it's doing an okay job right now, knock on wood, but I mean that could change in a matter of hours. We saw how my roommate was, it was a whole different story. So I'm just gonna do, you know, whatever I can to help my body fight this virus and just go from there. I love my YouTube fam. I love you guys. You guys are great. Thanks for the continued support um, just through everything I've done. I know this year's been kind of a whirlwind of things but um, I can't wait to continue creating some dope stuff from the confines of my little studio. Yeah, that's all I got, guys. So thanks for the continued support again. I'll see you all in the next video.